Hi guys, today I will tell you how I am animating the uh, poses which came from the Death Studio uh, in the Unreal 5.5 on the Genesis 9 Skeleton. So today I will show it to you on the example of the pose which is called the uh, Glory Hole. So uh, we are doing, I have here a completely empty scene, nothing more. As you can see the base scene, I'm double click on the animation. As you can see this is not the animation, this is just a pose. And what I'm doing next, I will stop this. Uh, I will click over here, edit and sequencer, edit with FK control rig. So basically it will create me the control rig for each of the bones which has this character. So I'm creating edit as I don't need um, to do this very, um, how to say, very detailed. I will mark this checkbox reduce case and then it will just show me the case which are really changed, which are really participating in this animation. Click the button base to control rig. We don't change anything else over there. And uh, we can simply close this window because with this window everything is done. So as you can see on my scene, uh, where was almost nothing, I have right now this guy from the animation. As you can see on the right side, we have everything regarding the um, FK, so we can edit each part of the bone. And if you will notice that he is not in the zero position, so his, uh, his position is different. So what you will have to do, we will have to click on the rig, and on the rig it's immediately visible that here we have the different coordinates, and this is not correct, this is not what we need. So first of all, uh, we will change its position. I will just simply type over here 0, 0, 0, as you can see his position has changed. And we will have to click this uh, box and a okay, uh, frame to this property. So on, um, on point one, as you can see immediately, this line has changed that its position has been changed to zero. I'm doing the same with the, with the rotation. Maybe this is a stupid thing. So maybe you know some better way how to do this, but I'm doing it like this because for me it's very easy and fast. And uh, I don't have to take headache with creating some kind of um, of FK rigs and so on. And as you can see, if we will move our animation, so the final, uh, the final position will be different and that is also not correct. So I'm going to the last frame and I will do exactly the same. So I'll just 0, 0, 0, add a K, 0, 0, 0, add a K. So we have it in the zero position. If, and if I will play, uh, press play right now, so it will not do anything because it is in the zero. Nice. Uh, what I, ha I will have to do, what I would like to do for this character, I would like to do the movement, a little bit movement of this, of the pals. Uh, but, but one note that if we will just uh, select the pal over here on the right side and move this with the, uh, with the arrows, it will not work. In the um, playing animation, it doesn't want to play anything, any movement of the of the bone, if you will really move this with the arrow. The only one movement which is recognized in the animation, in this case, is for the root. The other will not work. So we will have to work with the rotation. How I'm doing this? Uh, I'm in the middle of the animation. I need this to be on the 15th, uh, on the 15th frame, because I want it to be like very slight movement uh, forward and backwards. So what I'm doing, I'm selecting pulps, I'm selecting to rotate and I will rotate it a little bit, just really a little bit, let's say like this. And immediately, as you can see, I have rotated this for, let's say, 3.9, maybe we will do this for almost 4, I'll do this for 4, and what I'm doing, I'm clicking again to add the K. So my K for all the pulps, is done. Then what I want to do, I want to do exactly the same for the spine because we will need to create like a um, view that it is moving forward and backward and for this we will need also to move our spine. So I'm doing exactly the same with rotation with the spine. I'm rotating it a little bit, let's say like this. It was also about say minus 17 and let's say that we have rotated it also for the four degrees and again make the make the case for this as you can see it has changed but if we will press play right now so you will see that it is not correct because he's moving and he's moving not right and this is not nice and so on and so on and so on first of all we have the issue with the hands which have to, to fix so 
first let's fix the issue with the hand so if i will move a little bit over here as you can see his hand is into his leg and it's not correct so let's select his hand and this is the right hand so here it is the upper arm and i will rotate it so much so it will be it will go out create a k for everything what you are doing you have to create a k otherwise it will not work so let me check if this is working let's press play yes as you can see my hand doesn't enter into the body anymore okay we will stop we will move on the other side because we will need to check our left hand also if this is not broken too so let me check press no with the left hand everything is fine so it was just an issue with the with the right hand okay so the left hand is maybe a little bit but i would leave it like this because of course if you will uh, move the hands on your body so it can be it can be so nice we will stop it and and now of course we have to fix the issue with the sliding food because it doesn't look nice so what i'm doing over here i'm just selecting the root i'm selecting to move because as i have told uh the system is recognizing the in the animations only the movement of the root so in this case we can do this and now let's check where i have been our foods on the first frame so they have been over here as you can see it was just slightly slightly on the side so maybe if we will put um, our mouse over here so you can see that this is just covering the this 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 corner on the mouse so uh, i'm moving again on the 15th frame and i will move my whole character over here and just check it if this is okay no it was too much so again i'm selecting the root and i'm moving bit a little bit back and checking it again so more or less this is this is equal and i will add the k for this so and now let's see what we have we are pressing play and we can see just a slight movement of the of the food so this is not so much as it was earlier so what would we do we will check it again and we will check this moment as you can see it was i'm too much too much too much backward so like this again change it maybe i will need to change it no now it's okay so as you can see his foot are on the same place where they have been and if you will move uh, if you can try this movement uh, in the real life so in the real life if you are moving you are really going from the uh, from the back part of the foot to the forward part of the foot if you will do this this movement so basically actually it looks really natural so what we will do right now we will save the animation so first of all i'm pressing stop i'm going back to the here where it is uh, do, 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 over here i will save this animation so immediately when i press save and if i will open this animation into the animation window this is this one as you remember the first time when we opened this there was nothing and now we have here our guy moving and this is really just going from the back part of the food he's moving to the to the toy and and, and back and when i'm creating when i'm pressing this button edit and sequencer and uh, when i'm selecting this one edit with the fk control rig what i like really over here is that it is uh adding me all of the sliders which i have uh morphs all of the morphs which i have on my character this is adding me those morphs over here so in case if i would like to make my animation more beautiful more natural with the movements of the other parts of the body i don't know with the with the breathing with the open mouth or eyes so i don't know anything what do you want what do you have here so you can also edit those curves over here edit selected curve and uh, of course you will have to remove so for example i will show it to you on this one let's say we will leave only the 15th frame because exactly the same we did in the animation so i will remove those otherwise i will have to edit all of them and i don't want to do this so i'm removing this i'm leaving just the first one the 15th and the, the last one so let's say here i would like to change the rotation uh, a little bit so i would like to open the mouse a little bit over here uh, the curves as you can see they are too strict and this is not good because it will not look natural so i will select all of them and i will click over here the automatic 
dangerous. Now this is more beautiful, this is more natural and uh, more soft movement will be and if you will press play so you will see that my guy he's just open the mouse. So this is why it is very cool to have also the sliders, the morphs over here because you can add anything you want into your animation and then it will look very good into the on your character basically on the anywhere on whom you will play this okay so it was it guys uh, it was my way how i'm doing this if you have better way of course you can do this but if you like my way uh, you can give me a like that i will understand that you like what i'm doing uh subscribe to my channel give me likes write me your comments and i will be really happy to see you in my next video so love all of you bye bye